We are in the framework of the 2018 World Cup in Russia, and it is possible that many of you are wondering what is the origin or the reason why there are red and yellow cards in football matches. Well, it turns out that everything started thanks to Kenneth George Aston, an English professor who discovered his taste for refereeing after being an arbitrator in a match that took place at the University of Essex, where he worked as a teacher in 1935. At that time, Aston began to chart a career as a referee, so by 1960 he was already considered one of the best in the country in his discipline, which was quite useful for him to travel to the World Cup in Chile in 1962 and debuted as a match referee of opening that was celebrated between Chile and Switzerland, whose final marker was 3-1. In that same World Cup, FIFA decided to reward the great work of Aston in the opening match so they asked him to be the referee of the match between Chile and Italy, which was quite catastrophic. According to the International Football Federation, at that time there was a complicated relationship between both countries, as the Chilean media began to publish news assuring that Italian journalists had written articles that questioned the beauty and morals of Chilean women. Of course, the situation moved to the field so even the armed police had to enter the field on three occasions to help the referee to restore order among the players. I'm not talking about a football game, I was acting as referee in military maneuvers, Aston said. The referee expelled two Italian players, and had to end a series of fights and fights on the field. Time after this meeting Aston said goodbye to his refereeing career but FIFA called him to join his referees committee. For this reason, English was assigned the refereeing of the 1966 World Cup, and in the final that was played in Wembley England and Argentina faced each other. There was an uncomfortable situation, where Aston had to use his power of persuasion to calm the captain of Argentina Radon after being ejected and to oppose leaving the field holding back the game for an important period of time. What had happened before the expulsion was that the referee was German, and about minute 35, after a foul against Argentina. Radon was angry because of the lack of communication that existed between him and the referee, as he spoke in Spanish and the judge of the meeting did not understand him. After some shouting and improper gestures, the German referee expelled Radon using the word off in English, and that was when the Argentine player refused to leave the field for several minutes. After the misunderstanding, FIFA was forced to look for an innovative method that would help everyone to understand each other in the field regardless of their language or origin. Because Aston was the head of arbitration in the Federation, he was thinking a lot about what they could do to improve their discipline, until one day something very simple happened to him, while he was driving his car. So, in summary, due to the serious misunderstandings that existed in football several years ago, a referee was inspired by the colors of the traffic light to create the yellow and red cards, which have become very useful in the game until our days. The cards debuted at the 1970 World Cup in Mexico and since then, they have been part of this popular sport.